Hey, Coach Teddy here, and we're moving forward. Going to teach you how to be effective in the mid-range game. I made a living and a killing in the middle of the paint, despite my size, and it's because I had a mid-range game. We're going to work on that today. Now, as we come over here, I'm going to demonstrate the five shots that I use the most. But for me, any chance I can get, I go to my bread and butter. I go to my jump shot. I know if I can get to a certain area of the floor, pop up, shoot my jump shot on the drop of a dime, everybody else is going to be protecting the basket. It's instinct. Plus, that's a move you can practice over and over and over. And whether they have a seven-footer or they're playing a zone defense, if you can get to your spot, pull up and hit a jump shot, you're going to be unstoppable. What that looks like is at any time I've got to have great balance, I've got to have my feet under me, but I've got to have confidence. So as I'm attacking the paint at any time, I'm coming in, I can pop, knock it down. Sometimes you're coming full speed. You know, why are there certain types of footwork? We're going to talk about those in a minute as well. The jump stop, the one, two, the euro, the step back. We're going to show you all the types of footwork, but the same thing goes when you're attacking the paint. A lot of times if you're attacking the paint in the correct angles, you won't be going directly to the rim. And when that happens, shooting the jump shot isn't necessarily the element of surprise. What you need is a different trajectory. And that's where you'd use the high bank shot. Now, there's two types of bank shots. There's the one most people shoot, like when they're coming in on a layup. And they shoot it, and it hits the backboard on the way up. The type of bank shots I like to shoot, and if you watch Kobe Bryant and Tim Duncan, and Dwayne Wade, when they're shooting those nasty bank shots from that angle, the ball is actually going up then it's coming down, then it's hitting the backboard, and then it's going in. And we'll demonstrate this as we slice across the lane. Well, if you can imagine in your head on bank shots that if I'm shooting the ball up and into a swish, there's a little area up here, a hoop or a checkpoint that the ball theoretically has to go through. When you use the bank shot, that space that you get to shoot through up here in your imagination, your visualization, gets much larger. And so sometimes when you're on the run, maybe when you're retreating, um, maybe you don't have the defense on the heels, you're just going to a practice shot. Sometimes you need a bigger shot angle because they're going to be there to contest. 